Hi, I'm Frances Callier, and this is my very best friend. Angela V. Shelton. And we are Frangela. That's just, we took our names and smushed them into one. Yes, because we were best, best friends, and it's literally, we, we're a unit. I have a four-year-old daughter, I'm married, and uh, there we live in West Hollywood here in Los Angeles, and she goes to school and preschool, and uh, for her, the kids at school who have two moms or two dads, it's not even a conversation. It's not even, um, it's not weird, it's not different, it's, it's not even something I have to explain. And I like that about our world. When we grew up, you know, um, my babysitter, uh, one of my, when I was, uh, you know, after school babysitter or whatever, um, she's a lesbian. I haven't spoken to her in years, but um, I'm assuming she still is a lesbian. And, um, uh, and she was living with her partner and they were raising her partner's little brother because I think their, their parents had died in the crash. Mm. And she was, her, her partner was a police officer. And uh, this is in Detroit, right? And I remember um, she like, she was so cool and they were so great, so cool. And I just never under just for, like you're saying with Abby, just never was really an issue Yeah. for me. And until I remember somebody pointing it out in the neighborhood being like, well, you know, BJ's a lesbian. And I was like, yeah. Like, and I, and I just didn't even understand what the problem was. My mom had to kind of explain it yeah. to me because I was like, well, I don't, I don't get it. Like, okay, why would anybody care? One of the reasons that we have such uh, just strong feelings about speaking out about civil rights for all is that, you know, as African-American women and the history of, of African-Americans in this country, when you think about civil rights, you can't even start talking about, you know, discrimination until you include, are inclusive of everyone. And that's everyone. The reality is, is that if you wake up and you say for your religious beliefs that you don't believe that two people who are of the same sex can be married together, I'm fine with you believing yeah, that. That's awesome. As long as it doesn't affect these people's rights. You can sit up in your house, we say it all the time. We call your house your hate hut. That's right. You can sit up in your house, you can hate all you want. Oh, I man. hate, hate, hate. I hate everything. I don't want to see two I men hate. kissing. Oh, man, it's oh it's women right together, now. they oh, shouldn't have stone. children. Stone. What the, yes, stone. oh, no, no, no. I have to say that when Prop 8 was, um, I just did not believe that that was going to pass. We spent months and months in our radio show, in every other venue every we venue could. We were in talking about it, educating people, having the discourse, having the discussion. NPR on. From, yes, having, having, speaking about it. And then all of a sudden when it, when it went through, here comes everybody being like, oh, this is an outrage. Well, where were you? Where was your outrage this is before? There's two millions of dollars here. Why was some jerk church in what was Utah able to fund that campaign? Yep. One of the things I'd like to see, we talk about this, a lot, Francis and I together in the in the civil rights movement. Is first of all that we call it a civil rights movement. Yes. Number one, that we that we start to to understand that that's what we're talking about. Yes. Um, two, that we stop saying things like people who love each other, who have these families and who are committed, yeah. should be able to have these rights. Because you know what? As a heterosexual, I could be an asshole. I can be convicted of any kind of crime on this planet. I can yep. kill, rape, murder. I can be a complete jerk. I can marry somebody for their money. I can marry them because I hate them. I can marry them as a joke in Vegas for 10 hours. That's right. I don't have to be good. Britney decent. Spears. I don't have to be good, decent, mature, or anything. And I still have these rights. So why would we talk about gay people? And I see people in our own movement do it. Yep. Here are these families. I don't give a fuck if they're families. They're people. Like, yep. They can be jerks. Yep. They can be absolute assholes who are cheating on each other right and left just like heterosexual couples. That's right. That's right. You have the right. It's your right to have whatever kind of marriage you want to have because I have that right. And there's no test about how committed you are or how decent you are. That's right. Or how law-abiding you are. No. There are people on death row who are but, getting uh, married. How about Laura Bush coming out um, and speaking on Larry King that she's in favor of, of, of gay marriage? It's like when you had the opportunity, when you were sleeping next to the man who could years. have done something, you could have just whispered years. in his ear. I mean, just, just got in there and been like, yes. George, can I talk to you? I'm okay. sleeping. Laura, I'm, I'm sleeping. I'm going to talk to you for a second. I'm, yeah, what? I think we shouldn't be fighting gay marriage, and I also am pro-choice. 
Oh, okay, well, I'll do something about that tomorrow. See, she could have done that. I would like to invite anybody who is not living their life as, as truthfully or as honestly or out in the light, if you will, uh, as they can to step out and, and, and have the courage. And it does take courage to take a step out and be yourself. I look at the, the homeless youth rate and how many of homeless youth, uh, teenagers and young people are gay. And, and, um, and you can't help but wonder how much of them being homeless or being runaways is about that. Yeah. It's about them being closeted or trying to not be closeted or, or not being accepted and by their family and the, the suicide rate. And it's just hard for me to imagine a parent who, if somebody came to you and said, here are your options, your son can be dead or he can be gay. Yeah. Who can't figure out a way to get around get gay. You know, yeah. and, and if, if your parents are like that, you know, if your parents are like, if your family's like that, there is a community. Yes. You, can, you will find a family. The thing that upsets me so much is that uh, this stat is two years old, I think. I haven't been able to find a new one. But, one, you know, if you're transgendered in, in this country, there's a one in 17 chance of yeah. you being murdered. And if that were true for any other, other community, yep. there would be uh, FBI probes, there would be, you'd be the, your PSAs we, all day the, about you, it. There, there would be all kinds of organizations that would be out there raising money. It would be at the forefront Every day of, of, our, of, our, of television, of the media. One in 17? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And, and yet, somehow, that's okay. It is completely yeah. okay to have this community be lynched and, and murdered and thrown to the side yeah. and, and disrespected in every way, shape, and form. And it's not okay. It's yeah. not okay. You don't have to wait for the black person in the room to address the racist comment no. that just got made. You're right. You don't have to wait for the woman in the room to address the sexist comment that just got made. Yeah. You don't have to wait for the out gay person in the room to address the, you know, the homophobic comment that just got made. Yeah. You can too. Yeah. You have every right. When people tell me, like, like I've, you, we've probably all been in situations where somebody says something crunk and everybody looks at you like, if it's yeah. about black people, like, what do you got to say? And I'm yeah. like, well, you can too. Yeah. Look, it's really important for you to come out and speak up for everybody's rights. Speak up. You don't have to be black. Mm -mm. You don't have to be gay. Mm -mm. You don't have to be anything mm -mm. but for somebody who cares about other people in this country. That's right. That's you. That's you. So get up. <laughs>